What's going on, you guys? My name is Michael Crystal. You can call me Crygo, and welcome to Friendless Male tries to play two-player game alone. Yes, that is going to be your title. This is Overcooked. This is the first game. I have both, but I decided we we're going to kick it off, kick this off, and try this one. This isn't going to be a series, maybe, um, but I do want to try playing something a little different on the channel. So this is going to be Overcooked. If you don't know, Overcook is actually supposed to be a two-player game. It's designed to kind of be like a two-player game. And it's not great when you try to play it at one. So, we're going to see how this goes. Good save. I do have a save already, but we're going to get straight into this. Let's see if I got a good... I, there's usually one avatar I like to use, but since... It's not there yet, but wait until we unlock it. But yeah, this is this is your Friday video. I'm recording this day of. So this is fun. In the not so distant future. Oh yeah, you're doing it. The beast is approaching, so we must act. The all stands between the United Kingdom and the total annihilation. Give it his right for most of it to the weak. I feel that. I've never finished this game, because it gets really hard really fast. <laughs> the Ember package is awoken. You must act quickly. I've got a little bit of practice, but basically this game... You, normally you're supposed to be able to control both. I've got to sprint. There you go. There we go. Switch. Ah. X. Oh, I just... Did the sweary thing. Interesting. I got that wrong. Shit. Whatever. I'm not thinking to use my. I did it wrong again. I'm doing so well right now. I didn't think we're supposed to make combination plates this early in the game. Usually, they, the tutorial, they just. I know. That's what I'm doing. There we go. I thought he wanted just normal lettuce normally at the beginning. I don't remember. This is kind of the entire game. Usually it's more fun when there's two players. Usually it's more challenging when there's two players. You have to yell at each other. This game ruins friendships. There's the normal lettuce. It keeps telling me how to switch chefs, but I keep doing it anyway, so I know what I'm doing. Normally you use two controllers, but since I actually don't have two working controllers. I two controllers that Steam actually notices, because my... You'll notice I'm actually using my Xbox to... Uh, one controller, not a plug-in Xbox One controller, not a oh my god, he speaks less now. Not a my PS, uh, not my what do you call it controller? My Switch Pro controller, and that's because of the fact that it doesn't get recognized by Overcooked. I don't know why. It's very strange because this is a lot louder. Like I'm pretty sure every button press is audible, and it's kind of annoying. I wasn't supposed to make that. God damn it. Whatever. Gosh darn it. We have 30 seconds. This is actually just... This is an unwittable level where it's supposed to lose. There's no way to actually beat this. Or there's no actual, like... Criteria. It, like, you just have to cook in food. And even though it's not even that much food, you get four... I think you get three stars no matter what. You get one more plate done. And not even this plate. It takes about five seconds to do every single plate. Whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Quickly into the time portal. I forget when this game came out. But they made a second one. They made a second one. It's a lot. The graphics are really, really nice. The game runs a lot smoother. Greetings, friends. It's clear to me now that you are enough for me to take the least. Your cooking skills were lacking, and your cooperation was woeful. That is why I brought you back to the year 1993. 
You must strike out the Onion Kingdom, travel far and wide, holy skills last the age of our Only then you'll be ready to save the world from its dark future. Be brave, my friends, and good luck. Alrighty then. Maybe what I'll do is I'll duplicate my face cam and put two. So like, you know how you have like usually two people sitting next to each other? It'll be me and then me reversed right next to it. Maybe I'll do that. I don't unlock it. Let's do the first kitchen. I'm gonna record for a little longer for the series, but I'm gonna I think it's gonna be chopped up a little bit, no pun intended. <laughs> okay, come on. Go. The music in this game is so fun. I found like the general rule when I'm making when I'm doing solo play of this, which I've done like for a little bit, is the idea that everyone needs to be doing something at all times. And I now need to keep it on this pot. Which is gonna be a bit of a challenge. That needs to be served. So you're gonna actually start chopping. Chopping. You're gonna serve this in like two seconds. I'll have to wash plates too. This is that's the one thing about I find with solo, it's so hard to keep everything in track on track. Cause you're Yes, I know how to do this stuff. Normally you have to like you'd have time to go and like you'd be chopping and then you'd have someone else be doing it but since and that's I do split controls which by the way I think are crazy stupid because it hurts my brain I should maybe that should have been the video today man tries split controls but it drives me nuts the split controls because of the fact that like it's basically like if I'll show I'll show you when I have a chance it's like one side of the controller is one character the other side is the other control uh, other character and it makes it crazy difficult because your brain has to think in like some crazy way that like doesn't normally happen. My hands, like your your hands, are doing two very different things, and I'm right-handed primarily. Like, so pressing the buttons for me with one hand is a little easier, just because it's more natural for me. Because I'm dominant right hand, which makes it a little strange when I'm like, I have to use my left hand to hit all the other buttons too. These first levels are usually pretty easy. You plot fly through them with like perfect, basically every single time. Look at that. I want to get the there's a, there's a little raccoon in a wheelchair that I really want. Oh, I hate this level. I think if I remember correctly, because you can punch each other apparently. Um, yeah, this this one's a little annoying because there's people that walk in your way, and it's a little frustrating. Ah. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I got three stars, so that's all that matters. <clears throat> I really, really like. I got, I got this game because I was super interested by it, and me and my friend were like really into it at the time. And then we found that there's no actual online multiplayer, which is the dumbest decision Overcooked could have made, or the people who make Overcooked made, just because of the fact that, you know, like. It's a multiplayer game, so why not have people, you know, play online? I'm gonna start cooking up onions next. Oh, let's see this. Oh, I, I won't look related to this now. Well, no, no, that one there. Oh my god. Grab this, drop it there, run around. This is probably the least efficient way of doing this, but. Whatever. I want another mushroom soup. Okay, I should be a lot more organized with this. You cut as well. We're gonna be a little bit smarter about this. You're gonna go around, be on this side, throw this in. You grab the mushroom, go to him. He's gonna chop. You're gonna grab this mushroom, chop. I want to throw it over here, throw this here. This is basically what half this game is. It's me kind of flailing around. I'm trying to serve as fast as possible at the same time. Oh, I need to this on the side now. As well. And that's in this one, and this one gets chopped. And this one actually needs to work across. And then this one chopped. This one. No! Ah, oh, shit. Well. 
is fine. The smart decision would have been to... Oh, I need to do onion chopping. You need to do that. Actually, I need you to do this too. And then just chop, chops, and then I can go grab the plates because I should do that now. This is the struggle of this game. It's when you play alone, it goes, it's crazy hard. Like, this is obviously configured so it runs solo, but like, let's be honest. Just go faster if you will chop it. Oh, come on, I served that. That's bullshit. Chop. I could cut that really close right now. Let's do that. I need more onions on this side. This is the one thing I find is a struggle with this game is chopping, like, like, especially on these levels, it's just, like, so difficult and so annoying. I also, but I love the little characters and the way they kind of, the art style they decided to follow. And even, even, like, this little story they created about the Ever, Ever Nibble or whatever it's called. The Ever Nibble, that's name. Ever Peckish, I believe is what it's called. The Big Meatball, Spaghetti and Meatballs, which I, I don't understand. And Kevin the Corgi. That was a, that's a good one. I think he's a corgi. No, he's not a corgi. I don't know dogs, okay? Don't... Don't at me. I never say that. So, I apologize. Oh, that's about to burn. That's gonna burn. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're making really good time right now, actually. I'm surprised. It's like you put me in front of a camera, and I'm like, I need to perform well now because I'm in front of a camera. Oh, no. Okay, if this isn't, if this isn't another three stars, I'm gonna be mad. Let's go. Okay, hamburgers are stressful. Are stressful. We're gonna start by chopping meat. We still want a lot of meat at this point. I think that's kind of your goal. When you start with burgers, is chop the meat. I need to get the lettuce chopped as well. And tomato chopped. Now for this, get that. We're gonna start getting ready to plate. That's kind of like my first priority almost always. Especially with burgers, is getting them plated properly. You can start cutting another burger, I guess. Because this one's almost done. Boom. Um, sure, I don't know how that works, but okay. Throw that on the stove, let's get moving. I find when I get focused, my voice goes like really low. I just kind of like, huh, huh, this there, this there. You know what I mean? Is that is that just me or is that just a me thing? It probably is. I'm a very individualistic person. I don't think that's a right statement, but whatever. I just say the wrong things. This is YouTube. Who's ever actually correct about things? I always think there's there's a level where the um it's like you get the fissure opens in the world, which is a little wild. I oh, need tomato and lettuce for this next one. We're making them to order, okay? So take, give me a second. Uh, wh why do you, why are people so needy? They need their food so quickly. I think this is a very interesting game in the way they designed it. And I'm very glad they kept to it when they did the second game, that they decided to make a second game first of all, which is awesome. And the fact that the second game is actually better than the first game is awesome. Personally, I think it's, they did a phenomenal job with the second game. I highly recommend checking it out. I have to give a master shout to my friend. I didn't actually pay for the second game. My friend was like, here's, it's your birthday. Uh, happy birthday. I, I know you enjoyed the first game, so get, have the second game. And I was like, dope, thanks. I got, I was, basically what happened is we were hanging out that day. And my friend goes, yeah, uh, I got you something. Check your Steam when you get home. And I was like, okay. I got home that night, checked my Steam, and it's like, Overcooked 2 is sitting there, gifted to you. And I was like, this man knows me way too well. And I was, I was pretty happy, actually. I'm gonna, I'll chop some lettuce here, because I need lettuce for the next order. Turn that out, we're gonna start washing this plate. I think I'm getting into a groove. I think I'm getting into the groove again. It's been good. There's a few games I wanna play on this channel that aren't just like Pokemon, because Pokemon is great and it's awesome, but I think I enjoy other games too. You know what I mean? You guys, you guys understand what I mean. We're just here, chilling, playing some Overcooked solo, which is a very interesting decision. Normally Overcooked play with duos, but whatever. I was gonna do actually an Apex Legends montage with a friend today, but my friend's busy right now, so I wasn't actually able to. 
I was gonna say um, the friend's name, but then I realized that actually the series I'm working on with her hasn't actually gone up yet, so no spoilers. Okay, plate ready. Okay, I'm not gonna have time for another order, so we're gonna put that down. Put that down. Get the hell out of the way, bitch. Fuck you. Okay, I got 228. This this went really well actually. I love what the burgers have cheese on them, but we actually aren't putting cheese on the cheese on these cheeseburgers. <coughs> yeah! That was my favorite avatar in the game. Boom, doom, doom. Oh, I hate this. Mushroom scoop first. Chop on this side. I hate that it's I hate that it's so confined. Because that's stress. That is the that is that mission. That should be another three stars, right? Yeah. I just need about I just need 90 star 90 points for three stars. Easy. The only thing is we need burgers. And this is gonna create a fissure in the ground. <sighs> oh he's a I didn't notice they have two different hats. Oh my god, I love it. See? Take them. Oh my god. Sanitary. No one needs to know. It's okay. You can fall off this thing too, which is the funny. There's a car up there that's about to fall. Oh my god. That's kind of dark. It's really dark, actually. It's not kind of dark. It's really dark. Put this out. No! Damn it. Okay, well, we're both stuck down here, so might as well work on burgers. Having a few going up upstairs is good, actually. Because just, it's it's kind of important to have something on the go at all times. As, I, as, as previously mentioned, because apparently this game makes me speak what I had to say, the same thing about three or four times. Which is hilarious, but all for me, but probably really annoying for you guys who are watching. At home. Okay, I'm gonna. You can keep chopping lettuce. Boom. Boom. Okay, we can get like two done now. One. A four dollar tip. Six dollar tip. We're taking a break. This restaurant is closed, boys. I don't have time to make another burger, anyways. I don't want to dance on the edge. I want. I want to live on the edge. <laughs> So far, we have actually experienced too much of a challenge. Greetings, my small friends. This year is 19, now 1995. It's been two years since we last met. Last time, wow. It's been two years already, damn. Time really flew by, didn't it? You're progressing well in your quests, but you'll need to work on your skills of cooperation if you're faced with cooperation. Yes, my friend sitting next to me. I have a friend, don't worry. Travel eastward where more kittens await. Onward, my friends. Ooh. Oh, they're all the Ugh. I think this is the best the best spot. A nice enough spot to wrap up the video for today. Especially since I need to edit and render it before 3 p.m. today. So if you guys have enjoyed, make sure you click the like button down below and comment. Let me know if you actually enjoyed something like this. Maybe if we do this again, we will do split controls. I don't think there's any other controls. We can try split controls, which is terrifying. But maybe we'll try that in the next episode. We mess up our streak. But anyways, you guys, I'll see you, you, and you in the next video. See you then, guys.